Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today I'll be demonstrating how to create these three super easy to make heart shaped cakes. I'm starting off with the rose one. We're going to create some buttercream roses. I have a floral nail, a square piece of baking paper. I'm creating a little dollop and then a cone around that dollop. This is a 104 piping tip that I'm using. The skinny side of the piping tip is facing up towards the ceiling and the larger end is touching or kind of lands on the floral nail. You want to create really tight and short arches to begin and then as you make your way out of the center of the flower you want to create longer arches that start to fan out so that it opens up your roses. Once you've created at least a good 40 to 50, I recommend popping them onto a baking tray lined with baking paper, or you could just use a baking paper straight off of the floral nail, place them on there and then freeze them for a good few hours. This is an easier alternative rose that you can create where you're just basically piping all the way through while you turn your turntable. In about a minute or two, I'll be demonstrating how to create your heart shaped cake. But to complete this one, you want to stick it onto your cake with a little bit of fresh buttercream. If your heart shaped cake has come out of the fridge and it's really cold, those little dots of buttercream are going to solidify before they can be um, kind of sticky enough to tag your roses to the cake. So if you want to add a dollop of buttercream behind your rose and then add it to the cake, you can do that as well. Because our roses were sitting in the freezer for so long, we can handle them with our hands and they won't dent or break. To be mindful though that this process can take a couple of minutes and if your roses do start to soften out, you can return them to your freezer for an additional 30 minutes and then continue. For the filler, I've used white buttercream. It's just little tiny dollops of little floral buds. And into the buds, we're going to pipe pink dots right in the middle. This will kind of give the impression that there is a fresh little bud of a rose starting to form. To further fill in that negative space, we're going to take a number 352 piping tip. This is a leaf tip. I have my green buttercream in there. And I'm creating my leaves being super strategic with where I place them. Basically, you want to cover any spaces in between the flowers, and if there are any ugly spots on the side of your flower, you want to cover that too. For the side, you can add some edible lace. You can buy this already made from your local cake decorating supply store, or you could buy the lace paste and a pretty lace mold and create it yourself following the package instructions. You want to gently press that onto the side of the cake and it will stick to anything moist. So it's nice and easy to work with. Cut off the excess where the two layers meet and your first cake is complete loaded rose cake. This one I think is the most elegant out of the three and probably the most time consuming. But anyway, here is the second one and also how I created this cake. So I have a square cake that was six inches. I also baked off, baked off a six inch circle cake cut it down the middle and then stuck it to my cake board with some buttercream. You want to cover it completely in red buttercream, starting off with our crumb coat. This is going to be that layer of frosting that will trap in all of your crumbs. And then you'll want to create a second layer on top of this as your clean, pristine, final coat of frosting. A lot of people ask me how I get the red buttercream. This is just gel food color that I've added in. You could use my, um, pretty much any brand. I usually go for the Chef Master or the Americola. I find they're nice and strong. Once your cake is completely covered, go over the sides with a frosting scraper and then create a sharper end on your love heart with your spatula. Drag that top lip towards the middle of your cake. And then if you like, you can clean up that cake board at the base as well. You can refrigerate your cake for about 20 minutes and then apply your second layer of frosting just like we did. 
For the decorating, I've used a 104 piping tip with red buttercream, and then again, that 104 piping tip with white buttercream. With the red, we're creating these ruffles, and with the white, we're creating the love heart. We're basically going back and forth. The skinny end of the tip is facing up. The larger end of the tip is touching the cake at all times, just to make sure that the buttercream sticks there. And same thing with these little petals. Your motion is wrist up, wrist down for each petal. And we're angling them in such a way that they meet in the shape of a love heart. Follow this alternating across the shape of your cake. And by the end, you should have a little something that looks like this. Alternatively, you can start off with a white cake and that way your love hearts end up being red. For the decorating, I'm using candy coated chocolates and placing them up on the top of the cake and then lining the very base of the cake with these as well. I think that just adds such an elegant touch and it's really no effort on your part. So very effortless, I think, this cake. And there's option number two completed. On to option number three, still using that same piping tip. We're gonna be creating little S shapes to kind of resemble flowers. I'm going to be alternating white and pink just like we had before. Starting off with a really tight uh, kind of line and then ending on a much wider one encompassing the top. So you're kind of overlapping halfway. In between the spaces do the same thing again but with pink buttercream. The skinny side of the piping tip is facing away from you and the larger end is facing towards you. And then from there you can create little flowers on the bottom as well. I have my number 32 piping tip again. And to create that texture on your leaf, you just want to give your wrist a little bit of a wriggle on the way out. And it creates these really sweet little indents on your leaf. Create those little side view um, floral petals on the side, starting off with two close together, really tight, about a centimeter or so away from the baseboard of the cake, and then two larger ones overlapping. You could probably even go three larger ones overlapping with the, the middle petal uh, being the overlapping one, and that way it just kind of widens up your flower a little bit as well. Totally up to you. This still looked okay. You want to cover up any spaces that you don't like with your leaf. And again, this is just the 32 piping tip. It's great to write a little message right in the center, but if you just want to keep it nice and simple, you can add some edible Dregés into the middle. My instinct is to say dregés, but that's not how you pronounce them, um, as many people have let me know in the past. So I've got three different sizes here, and I'm just plopping them right in the center. You could go gold or silver, both will look really nice with this particular design. And that's it, there we have option number three. These are three really simple love heart shaped cakes that you can create for your loved ones this Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more cake decorating content and we'll catch you in the next one.